Welcome, Spark. So what kind of Spark are you? A player? A creator? Or both? The stories yet to be told. The games to be made. Civilizations and societies to be formed. The universe is waiting for you to bring it to life. Now, how do we begin? And we're live! All right. Hey community, how's it going? Hey guys! Welcome to another Thursday uh, creation stream. Yes sir, alright. We got more of Noxious Bogs to show you guys. We went really quickly through all the props last week because there's so many props to go through. So, here's we the did. plan of this. We are going to show you the characters, and then we're going to spend some more time with the props here. Um, because we didn't really explore each of these to their fullest capacity. And the characters themselves will take uh, a bit to get through because they're super cool. They are super cool. And we didn't look at sounds either, so we should do that too. Yeah, actually, there's... Um, Two like there's two like uh, ambient sounds which are so they were so needed and so good like they're they're just perfect for the ambience of like, going through boglands or going through jungles or what have you so I'm yeah. really excited for those that would be pretty sweet um, and then Chad just let us know audio's good video's good yes we do know that that um, the watermark is probably right over my face right now as I'm talking will be fixed soon. that will be fixed soon um we just got to get to it um but sorry about that I know it's very distracting <laughs> it's yeah it's really distracting I think it's for like me. right here <laughs> yeah it's really distracting for me when I was editing like what is this yeah <laughs> uh we'll bad. we'll have it'll be fixed by next week <laughs> it's just so funny yeah, yeah. I know it's like right on my face right now anyway cool so let's look at the first character we're going to be doing and I have him right here. So we're going to look at the bird that the, comes in the Boglands. So let me scale this okay. guy up. Okay, what is this bird called? I'll have to look at the gallery and make sure I get the name right. It is Bogbill Bog Bird. bird. <laughs> yeah, so it's a it's a very beaky bird. Um, it has, someone said on, <laughs> someone, <beaky bird. laughs> someone said on Twitter, and I, I kind of agree with them, um, it looks like s something is trying, it looks like a bird trying to ingest a piece of pizza, which I didn't think about, but it's like totally... Totally looks looks like that in a way. So this is the bogbill bird. Um, he's a very he's a vicious looking bird. He, he means is. harm to people. That is why he fits perfectly into the boglands, which is like the theme of it. It's a hostile, pretty mean place. Yeah. Love that like growth, like the I don't know what those are called on his nose, but that's just awesome. That's um. Yeah, it's like yeah. it's Toucan Sam got really jacked and mean <laughs> really jacked. toucan sam was like all right i'm going evil this time guys <laughs> that's exactly what it is um all right so just place him down here in the gallery i know he has a default he has a default brain on the bogbill bird yep default the bogbill bird um so it looks pretty simple here it's gonna um he's pretty much gonna run away i think or fly away let me pull out a do we have a character yeah we one? should um use right a here. little thing yeah there you go no, this one. Uh, yes, an evil genetically modified toucan. That is exactly what we're going for. Ah, oh, there he goes. And he he he, fly, he flies up and then he lands yeah. somewhere. Um, but uh, I had a lot of fun playing as a bog bill bird. Yes, that would be more fun than just running around chasing him. So if we go on this guy, um, am I gonna see a brain on here? I shouldn't see. No, you should, um, you should have, yeah, you should, you should have Noxus Bog still on. Um, uh, it won't pop up, I don't think, for it. Choose, uh, well, you know what? Here, let me make, let, let's quickly make a brain it. form. We can just code it real quick, yeah. Yeah, look. We're on an internal build, so we have things we don't want to show you guys yet. You know what I'm talking about, yeah. Yeah, I know exactly <laughs> what you're talking about. Um, yeah, just do win, left stick, do fly. Yep. Uh, um... And I'll make sure I put the altitude increase too, because that is super helpful. We are making a quick fly brain for you guys, so you know how to make fly. Um, uh, how to make something fly really easily. Move the flying. Where's my world up? There we go. Yep. And I'll just throw a follow camera on here too. Make sure to. Uh, and what else do I need? That's pretty much it. Yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> 
Um, All right, I might want you back, but. Alrighty. Let's play as a bog bill bird. Do it. He's got. Uh, I like it how much he like kind of. Yeah. It looks like he got some weight to him, right? Like he's heavy. Yep. Yeah. And he's got a different. Um, when he's on the ground, he sort of glides. He doesn't walk actually. Uh, some I think some of the birds might walk when they're on the ground, but this guy when he's on the ground, so if you just have like move without flying, he'll like kind of glide along cool. the ground. We'll do that next. Yeah, but this is like this is this his his flight. In the air. Um, he is he's a, he's a stocky guy. Ooh. He is our most evil looking of all of our birds. If you put him and the crow in a room, I think I know who would win. I think it would be this guy. Yeah, crow got nothing on him. Although they could be friends because they're both evil. That's true. So they might not be too bird competitive. Someone now needs to make an Alfred Hitchcock birds game. Go through the bees. Hey, bees. And probably no one got that reference. Well, uh, hopefully you did. It's, uh, there was no reference. This was to directly exactly what I missed it for Alfred Hitchcock. Birds. Hitchcock? Oh, the birds movie? Yeah. yeah. Right, I'm flying to Earth. How many psychics does he have? Um, he has... Good. He is the exact, basically, he's the exact same um, internal, internal skeletal <laughs> structure of uh, the other birds that are in that are in game. So, uh, if you've played around with the sockets of the warbler bird, the crow, all those other birds, he's got the same socket setup as, as those guys. So, so he's this like, is, the, is this, what you're this is about? like, yeah, he, this is him gliding along the ground. This guy is not a walker; he is a glider. So it's sort of like this is how he glides along the ground too. Okay, got it. I would probably do like if I was trying to do that, just because there's some clipping in with the ground. Yeah, you put he a is, bit above. He's also kind of big. He's he's huge. Let me see if this looks better. Just when he's a little smaller guy. Here we go. Mini bird. Yeah. That yeah, that's better. Yep. So you got you know when you, when he's moving without flying, he's got more of a uh, glide movement to him. Cool. Let me see what it is. Let's get a jump on there. Nope. Jump. You want to do a pressed. Or else he's going to... You press it once and he's going to try and jump many times. Maybe that's what I was going for. Yeah. <laughs> and let's get a dodge in there too. See what that looks like. And we'll also look at some of the emotes too. That should be pretty cool. All right, so there's him jumping. Yep. Boop. Boop. Oh, the bird does not have emotes. You're thinking of the next critter we're probably going to cover. Oh, okay. He doesn't even have a couple of the basic ones? Nope. Oh. And dodge is just him going forward like that. Or in Boop. whatever way you he's going. Yeah. Nope. Nope. Ah. That thing is mean. Yeah. Cool. So there you go. That's the that's a bog bill bird. Does he T pose? Let's look. Well, it, unlike the owl, you can't really work with those wings as much. The, uh, like the owl has, you know, it has a shoulder and has the the elbow and has the the, the hand. Um, this is this is using again the same rig as the warbler bird and the crow. Gotcha. What kept this pack from being released sooner? Um, what keeps every pack from being released sooner? There's a we were still working on it. Yeah, there's <laughs> there's um this is a huge this is a really huge pack. Um, it is a uh, I'm pretty sure it's our biggest of all of our biome packs, and so there's a lot of things we needed to make with this, and uh, it just took us a while to make everything that goes along with this pack. All right, I want to see one. We um. Yeah, we've we've gone down to a kind of monthly release structure because we had last pack and this pack are two very hefty packs. Because uh, you had battle stations, which was uh, two new characters, whole two-handed animations uh, for guns, uh, bunker, all this other stuff, and then you have um, the bog biome, which is a, a lot of just a lot of props and characters, and animals. Um, we had actually, I mean, this this biome has been in conceptualization slash development since uh, way before the game was even released. And um, we finally had the time to spend to, f to finalize every prop that goes in this pack and make them, uh, and you know, take some of our lessons learned. We've uh, 
we've taken based on community feedback to make this a, a really impactful biome. Ah, don't mind me. I am just color tinting oh, this guy. That is a oh, that's a wonderful question. Was this originally meant for Goblin Wars? Uh, okay, I, I'll give you guys some some insight into you know, uh, Shaman's Quest episode two has been canceled. Um, we had planned though. There was we had planned um, a location of of a bog biome um, that you might have that you might have seen in it, um, but just generally, as soon as the team came up with um, just the the goblins, they you know they they levitated or they went towards this idea of them being inside of the swampland um, and the swamplands of Pike, and this is all of that so this really came about the this i this idea came about with um with just coming up with where these goblins are from and why they're so rough and what does this what does this kind of hostile terrain the goblins come from look like <clears throat> i want this to be like his beak So pretty good tin channels on that. I like it because you got the the basically his um, plumage, right? That's what yep. birds have. And then you got like the two different ones. You have the accents on there, like the highlights. Then you get his eye, his eyebrow, and the the two the bumps on the beak, and then the the base material, and then also his feet. So it makes him pretty crazy looking birds. Mm -hmm. uh, he looks even scary with those big red eyes now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's move on to animal number two. All right. Bye, bird. Bye, bug bill. All right, Mr. Lizard, the horned lizard. Cool. Another community request: give us a lizard. This and guy has been in concept art for a while, and I believe yeah, it's been out yes. in the public. So mm -hmm. he has finally made it. Uh, do any of the other animals have better sockets than their predecessors? Um, I don't. Not. I don't think so. With this pack, uh, this pack, the animals are. Um, the bird animal, this uh, lizard animal, and the uh, fish animal are using our uh, simple creature rigs. Um, no comment on what else might be coming in the future. Mm -hmm. I'm going to play as this guy too for a second. Dun, dun. Follow camera. Cool. So you're playing as as Mr. Lizard. I'm gonna play as the lizard. So by default, he has the wander brain on him, um, which is pretty much what the squirrel has. So he'll just be in the back, kind of rummaging around. He'll flee from the player. He's but, got his he's got his beefy little head there, and he is scary looking as well. Those yep. eyes, those eyes. Look into my eyes. <laughs> See if I can balance on this thing. Cool. I'm so good. Oh nope, that did not work. <laughs> These yeah. are pretty neat, like in the water. Yeah, they are. That's I like tumbling that. physics in water can yeah. sometimes lead to cool stuff. Uh, yeah. Sometimes it can lead to unexpected uh, performance slowdowns. <laughs> no, yes, <laughs> <laughs> definitely something you have to be wary with tumbling physics in anything. Yep. Um. So this guy is pretty sweet. Oh, going back to uh, going back to the previous question. Uh, when will be we be focusing on uh, creator tools? Well, we haven't really talked about everything coming with Title Update 16, but um, we have a lot of gr great things geared towards all creators, all creators with our next title update. I want to see what this guy looks like when he flies. <laughs> uh, he does his yeah. Um, you also he has an emote. He does. I know yeah, he's, he's our first simple creature that comes with an emote. There you go. So there's him flapping. Is that a swim too? Yeah. Um, the cool. so the, the really the cool thing is um, he also like he reminds me of sort of the ornamental uh, what are they called the the like the dragons that you have at like um, like Chinese festivals where a bunch of people are in them. And they were waving around, made out of paper, or what have you. I forget what they're called. But he kind of reminds me of, of those, just like the way, the makeup of, of him. So, um, he... Sure, someone someone did mention that, oh, he could be used sort of as a dragonling. And, uh, yeah, he kind of, he definitely kind of fits that bill. 
Oh, make him purple and call him Spyro. That's a, it's a, that's gonna happen. It's a great idea. But before you do that, come on, we got to see those emotes. All right, all right, all right. All right. Okay, so cool. he has a he has a taunt. Uh, appearance emote. Uh, he's got a taunt. And he doesn't have the he doesn't have every every emote, but I believe he also has a. I know he has greet. a He has a, a, a gree, I thought too. I really thought I remember shaking his head. Uh, yeah. Try. I guess try agree. I believe he might also have a green. There it is. Takamochi dragon. Hmm. Oh, he's gonna be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not do that anymore. Okay. Or what chat appropriately said, air swimming. Yep. All right, cool. All right, this should be the taunt. Yep. So he kind of shakes menacingly around. It's like the, I just picture the sound that's um, like Jurassic Park or the like, tss, like almost kind of like hissing at you like during that. And he like mm -hmm. all gets like, yeah, that'd be rad. Okay, let's see what this one is. Tip. See? Yeah, you agree. Oh yeah, did we look at what the sound was like in game? For these guys? No, no, just in general. What what are sound levels in game? No. Oh, um while well, I'm getting attacked here. I think they're they should be at the old one. Nope, it's really loud. Sorry if that was overbearing. We're in an empty world, so it probably wasn't too bad. Well when when like those things attack, then it's probably loud. Yep, and then right bumper, right? Oh, maybe I was just thinking of agree. Yeah, I don't think he has a greet. Oh, they can't hear the game anyways. Okay, cool. <laughs> That's not necessarily a good thing. Yeah, so no agree on there. Does he have a disagree? If he has an agree, maybe he has a disagree. Uh, yep, yep. All right. So he's got a taunt, an agree, and a disagree. I like how his uh, tail comes forward. Cool. I'm trying to think if he has any other ones. No, I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it too. Cool. All right, and make him purple. Make him purple. Boom. Looks like he got five here. This is body A. Uh, I think that's close to spiral. And I think Spyro's highlights are yellow. Is that right? Maybe. I didn't grow up playing Spyro. <laughs> that was not my game. I played some Spyro. And like that uh, no, these emotes are specific to the lizard. Sorry if I'm butchering Spyro for everybody. <laughs> Ooh, what a color. This is for the eyeball. Oops. Oh. Just click cancel. Yeah, it'll probably do it twice. Yeah. Yep. Sorry. Hopefully that's the last time. Mm-hmm. Internal build. I'm not sure which one this is mapped to. I think it's his, in that black all around his eye, but it's probably really dark. I don't know. For the eyeball. It's probably the outline around it. Yeah. Anyway, very cool. Boom. So, so sockets, nice. I'm sure they're wondering about on this guy too. So is he in the same boat? Just the simple sockets. It's... Yeah, he's uh, he's he's one of our simple rigs. Yeah, he doesn't look like he have any additional ones. Let's put it on the fire point to give him a hat. Yeah, this one that he doesn't have a head. Either. For some reason, everybody's gonna have an acorn as a head today. Hat. 
Oh, you didn't. You could have sunk it in, and like the top of the acorn looks like a pretty awesome. I could, uh, I could do that. I could do that. I learned that from Claude. Claude used to make Le Rock, which was a rock with a, one of those little things sticking out of it. <laughs> Le Rock. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> now he's a fancy Spyro. I'm making the shadow. Pretty cool looking. Mm hmm. It got to be like a little baby dragon or something. Yep. Yep. I like it. All right. I'll keep you. You can stay over here somewhere. I'll just turn you off. <laughs> Alrighty, character number three. And last but not least, Piranha. This guy has definitely been asked for. This guy is so cool. And he is very mean. <laughs> what are you talking about? Does she just want to come up and cuddle him? Look how cute he looks. He's so squishy. Look at that. There was a fish game I played in the feeds. Maybe it was a week ago. I don't know, but it was one where you had to like eat. It was like one of these are your little tiny fish, and you have to get bigger and bigger. But you like had like a, an aquarium kind of thing, and you just go around. Mm, yep. And they used a lot of the similar fish looking, but this guy it'd be cool to throw some of these guys in there too with that. Level yeah, now. for sure. All also right. makes a wonderful head for people on top of people. Yep, because it's just like independent. it is. It is an. It's basically almost an Admiral Akbar head. Like a. It's a trap. All right. Space Marine with that as its head. Because then you have that perfectly... The big armor. It will yeah, sink it's sinking into the big armor. Oh. So uh, let's let's show that guy a bit in action also, just to uh, just see how, how he looks like. Let's get a couple of these. So he should have his little default fish on. Yep. And let's make sure... Let's just play as a human right now. So, you know, they're just swimming along, all happy. I believe they uh, try, yeah, they yep, attack they you. They definitely will Piranhas, ah! um, ah! They, they like to eat people. So these are, these are piranhas that will attack you. Ah. Yeah, they don't like me very much. Mm -mm. Like, they're super aggressive. Ooh, he's like trying to leave the water. Yeah. Right? So that's their default. I'll leave a couple of them there. Um, let's go out here. Uh, I kind of want to stay in the let's stay in the little box swamp. And let's put a character brain on this guy. Well, we'll code it in since we don't. Uh, really you could you could always just also copy the lizard's lizard's brain onto him. Yeah, this takes two seconds. Make sure I turn off this guy. Cool. I am now a piranha in the water. I like how his, his fin also kind of sticks out of the water. Yeah. Just think a whole bunch of these. Like, you could really do, like, um, what would be cool, right? So you have your, like, um, Boglands world. And you get like come across those like paths that are like kind of flooded and they're just kind of filled with these guys. And then what you do to keep your performance good is like not until they like come into view do you end up spawning the group in. So like you're not you know don't have three hundred piranha like in your game running. But then like whenever um, you know you come across the the puddle, they'll be there. So you could do like a whole bunch. And then they just attack and become like an obstacle you have to avoid or whatever. Yep. Let's see. Okay, so this guy now. Uh, he's a fish, so I'm not expecting him to have too many emotes either. He doesn't or have any, any at all. Let's take a look at his color tint channels. Oh, and boom. 
Okay. All right, so you got red, which is gonna be, it's kind of the highlight. It's mainly him being orange. So let's go. Let's go I guess he does look kind of cute if you like deadly I, beasts. I think he looks adorable. Okay. So like it actually, his body is actually like a blend of those two. Yes. Mm -hmm. Which looks really nice. And then you get his eyes, which purple actually looks good for this scheme, but we'll change it. Uh, ooh, or you can go like super dark black. Yeah, we can go super black. Look into his soulless eyes. Yeah, <laughs> it's cool. He's the coolest of our fish. Yeah, by far. Mm -hmm. And then the little warts and everything. Yeah, those are cool. He means business. Uh, mind if I try to make a pseudo admiral Akbar? Sure, go for it. Just be careful which characters you're gonna grab. Without oh, yeah. switching out the tag. That's fine. I got it. I'll I'll take I'll take care of that by doing. Astro Marine. See, the cool thing is uh, when you search for something and you also have something else tagged, what it does is it treats that as an and. So look for things that uh, look for things that have Astro in the name and also look for things that are part of no Noxious Bogs. And that's how you get this guy in. Alrighty. So... Um, let's basically your alien race. You could you could do a whole alien race with these guys as the heads on people. Totally. <laughs> do a wonderful alien race. All right, take off that helmet. Take off that backpack. Uh, let's go to character studio with this character to uh, give him proper coloring. That works right there. That is probably. But you're going for Admiral Akbar. Right? Yeah. So he's got Master. He's got a. Uh, definitely got more of an orange hint, hint, tint to him. Uh, I think. his eyes. Uh, I that is fine. I think they're black. Alright, let's attach this guy to his head. even be almost that big and it looks okay still yeah it does look at that this fish monster means business let's remove that brain let's also uh, important thing is when you have this thing attached don't do character physics use fixed make them non collidable and I think we got ourselves a winner here there you go you got the nice little. I mean, the the fish's idol looks good too. Like just yeah, for, like, exactly. Like he's always he's always looking around. He's always upset, just saying no. Mm hmm. <laughs> he looks Particularly awesome. Particularly looks really good with the space marine body, I think too. Just because it's like that bigger, chunkier armor that kind of hides some of the the clip. Yeah. But I think that would work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, what? that <laughs> idle animation looks awesome with the fish. <laughs> oh, man. All right, let's, uh, someone suggested making him pitch black. Uh, let's see what that looks like. Just like his whole body pitch black. All right, so yeah, you can totally make him. You can totally make him black. He's uh, he's shiny. He is. Yeah, he'll have that shine because he's yeah. like a fish. Yep, exactly. So he'll he'll look like he's wet. But if you want to go pitch black, oh, maybe you can do um, probably pitch black with like eyes that are a bit different. It might look a bit better. Um, do you like white eyes. The eyes, and then uh, maybe go for something more like a. Uh, yeah, like gray highlight there. Yeah. Actually, you know what? I think his uh honestly I think purple was the best look for him for his eyes. 
Yeah. Menacing purple eyes. Now he kind of matches his armor. Yep. Yeah. People need to do this more often. Uh, every time, uh, anytime I ever see someone using fish heads for people, I'm like, yay! That was a, that was a slight intention of this. <laughs> Small intention, but yeah. Because yeah. um, like it, it can work on it can work on the non brute types too. So like you go here, just always take off the helmet. Uh, also get rid of their hair because we don't want their hair to poke out. So go go bald guy. Take this, bam. Unattach it. And we can do an entire civilization of Akbarians. No, I'm just kidding. They're not called Akbarians. <laughs> I'm sure there is a name, and probably someone. There is a name. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, it's. I don't know why I'm drawing a blank. Uh, I feel so foolish why I'm drawing a blank on their names. But yes, they all have. They actually have a species name that is referred to in canon. Sorry, nerd. All right. Bam. Good. Follow me. Yeah, I got yeah, a little fishy fish guy companion. here to help me. Oh, oh. fishy attack. <laughs> His name is Fishy. Yeah, why not? <laughs> Where are you going, Fishy? Oh no! You're being trounced by other fishes. <laughs> I know. Ugh. It's uh, it's a sad day. You can't Our retaliate. Friend Fishy when he's trying is being to swim. attacked by fish. Are they Krogan from uh, Mass Effect? Hmm, yes. Uh, Mon Calamari, thank you. That's That was the name. Um, <laughs> Calamari. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes sometimes our, our friend George had, had good ideas. Um, and I think that was actually a pretty good idea. So we didn't really spend that much time with this stuff. And like the first thing immediately I wanted to do... Let's, let's make sure we get through sounds. Because we haven't done that at all. Oh, you're right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And we only got 20 oh, minutes. Oh no, right. we can't. We can't do sounds though because they can't hear in-game audio. At all? Yeah, they can't at all. Oh. Yeah, we're we're gonna have to fix that and be back next week to show off the sounds. I didn't know it was like. 20 yeah, it's like. Done. Yeah, we need to rehook up in-game audio. Um. So unfortunately, we can't show you guys sounds. There's a wonderful. We can show you the sound gallery. Look at all of those speaker gizmos! Oh my god! Um, they're all slightly scaled at different sizes. It's perfect. No, they're actually scaled the same. Uh, yeah, but you, you get a lot of sounds. Um, the piranha sounds awesome. The bog bell bird sounds really awesome. Uh, you got the uh, horn lizard sounds really cool too. You got uh, a bunch of sounds to go with effects. My horn lizard has a bunch of sounds. Uh, well, good. actually, no. There's there's a little bug that we have internally here where the sound just appears twice. So you got oh, bog bill okay. bird attack, bog bill bird attack. Look um, how many there are. Yeah, yeah. There's actually half. No, um, <laughs> but my two favorite sounds, um, which I'm like so in love with, are the two new uh, ambience bog sounds. You got a calm sound where um, it sounds like it sounds like a bog. You have. Uh, Every once in a while, you'll hear you'll hear a frog ribbit, and it's just it just generally sounds like a uh, like bustling and not, not bustling, but at nighttime, not much is happening in the bog. And you have uh, the ambient bog, which sounds like you're in the middle of a really dense jungle. It's something that we were like totally missing that wasn't there with any other biome. So um, those I'm really excited for how people are going to use those to really help set the mood for their creations. Lively and calm, I like it. Like I see that, like, you know, when it, when your pace and your game slows down, you definitely go to calm, but then, like, you're approaching, like, some kind of, you know, battle arena or what have you, or a boss, you, like, start switching over to that, like, lively, and it makes kind of the character perk up, and then eventually then you have, like, your combat music or whatever when the scene actually starts, but... It's, um, it's... I'd say it's a bit too ambient to, to like, notice your yeah, coming it'd, it'd up on something. Yeah, it would be more, something. like, it would be more, like hidden like subconscious like it wouldn't be i like what i think it like would re like really would be a great transition is like you're you're going through a kind of more desolate bog lands so you have like the the ambient and then you get to you get into like a forest in the middle of the bogs and then that starts playing and then it like really helps like sell the idea of you're going into this dense undergrowth um all right so like this is an alien face so I want to use this as an alien face. This is um, one of our new props. 
the uh, these are the uh, root balls. They're basically um, yeah, they're they're called roots, but they're actually think of them as stones. Pretty much, they're like two new versions of stones. I love our stones. I like. You know, some people may or may not, but you get so many great shapes out of her stones. That I'm I'm a fan that we were able to get a few more in here. So I'm going to make this a head and make this a crazy looking creature. So like scale down a bit. Uh, put that on the side of evil rather than good. <laughs> Just, uh... Probably, probably evil. So this, like, as soon as I saw this, um, I'm sure, you know, I'm sure it was intentional because most of the stuff we do, we are like, oh, it looks like there's a face in there. It is intentional, but I saw this and it was like, insect face. So... It's just crazy, organic, crazy thing. Yeah. It's almost like you could do kind of like a um, almost bog, voidish kind of thing, but you could take creatures, right, and then, like, maybe put some of those root rocks and things like that as attachments on them so they have these growths maybe mushrooms coming out of their back or whatever oh kinda yeah that's, like a that's whole a good point. kind of themed uh crazy creatures yeah um all right getting to questions in chat uh we don't have a we don't have a release date yet for this um still uh tbd september we're in september now so um it's not too far away um, don't expect it before September 15th. That's all we can say at this point. I know we're already getting kind of close to, sept to September 15th, but uh, we we can't release this until we release uh, our next title update because it has, um, with, with every new content pack, we need uh, a new title update to have kind of features uh, with this inside of it. So uh, we can't release this until title update 16. We're still wrapping that up. It's a very, very big title update. So... Um, don't have a ETA on that yet. Um, so, the rib cage. I wanted to use this on the character's back. This rib cage, I was playing around with a lot more, and this thing, I'm a big fan of. This is like, this is what I've been waiting for. This rib cage. All right, so put that on his backside, and it's like, you know, obviously it looks it looks like a rib cage, but it also you just like take these pieces out, and it looks like um, pieces. It also doesn't have to look like a rib cage; it just can look like sort of whatever different uh, buttons and knobs coming out of a. Uh, yeah, it kind of had coming out of it suit. Can be uh, kind of a high tech. Like, yeah, suit, mm -hmm. gizmo kind of thing, attachment. Then uh, always set it to climbable off. That's uh, the thing that putting hooks the flower. him up into the matrix. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Going right into the back of his neck there. <laughs> so this this piece I'm, I'm really excited about. Uh, you will not be seeing code anytime soon to change clothes. Um, not to say it'll never happen, but it is, uh, it's not something that's coming soon. I'll tell you that. Yeah, it looks like an exoskeleton, this does. This uh, does look like an exoskeleton right here. Um, yeah, maybe if I recolor it to match the suit, it'd probably look a bit better, right? So let's do that. And uh, let's make it, right now it's in the shadows here, so let's, let's fix that. Alrighty, so we want to go for something blue. So it's sort of like a dark blue here. It's probably a little too blue. Yeah, I think so. I think, uh... I think it went, I went overboard on the blue. Maybe it's more of a lighter blue. The so like when I get into these the, these circum situations circumstances, uh, what I'll typically do is I'll just look at the exact color of the other prop to match them up. Sometimes since they're different materials, they might not fully match up, but they can get pretty close that way. This is yeah. pretty close though. 
Oh, and I do it. There's actually here. Let me give it a controller for a second. Um, just like on that. So if you jump onto this guy's character studio, and you are trying to do so, like on his chest, right? And you want like this specific blue. And I go in, so you can see like the the five fifteen one fifteen one six zero. You can see the the co channel on that. The RGB code. Yeah. You would want to actually. So when you're adjusting these guys, um, so a couple of them get affected all like at once when you're like this. Um, moving, it's kind of difficult, but when you switch over to the HSV, it's like exactly to the D-pad, um, mm -hmm. yep. which will make it a lot easier to try to match up the exact um, across between them. I typically go for the hex code because it's easiest to understand. The hex code is that number there that's right now it's 2094 Yeah, yeah I mean, if you get that exactly, it'll be the exact color for mm -hmm. sure. That's yeah. what the... the HSVA or whatever will translate into the code for you. Mm -hmm. um, but as you're trying it, you'll be like, oh, I know it now I have. Um, so, I mean, we can look. Okay, this is 139, 274. Did I change him? I can't remember if I ended up changing him or not. Anyway, but by changing it to the H HSV, it's a lot easier to actually line up than trying to do it the other way. Agreed. I did not know that for a long time, and it was very frustrating to try to get things to match up. Not that. So I could go, it was like 139. Particularly for controller, because I'm on Xbox too, because I think on this you can just go in, right? Yeah, exactly. Um, but the reason why Thomas brought up the H the HSV is because that's that's a number that you can you can mirror without having to be on Windows because on Windows you can directly yeah, type it in. Yeah, you can type it directly in. But this is for a controller. You yeah, with with HSV, then you can kind of just use yeah. a D pad to match up. It's really exactly. finicky trying to do it with the RGB because it's not exact to any one thing. So they're like a, the ratio. Cool. Um, all right, uh, let's show a few other things. Let's, yeah. let's go back to some other props. Let's see. Which one did we not talk about? <laughs> this guy. Did we put this guy as a hat on anybody yet? No, but actually, yeah. I mean, it obviously fits as a hat. Um... Like Someone in chat, obvious. though, had uh, a good idea of putting all this stuff on top of the Void Corruptor, where it can fits a bit better. On what stuff? Like, uh, just just what I was doing over there with that character, continue that, but except on the Void Corruptor model. So, like, I was making this kind of corrupted character. The Void Corruptor is already technically corrupted, so probably fits pretty well on him. Yeah, you got a merchant guy there. Hello. Oh. You deleted it. <laughs> I guess I deleted it. <laughs> you hit X. Uh, yeah, you hit X to delete it accidentally. Oh, get out of here. I don't like you anyway. All right, where's your boy corruptor? Uh... Okay, so we're going to do a bog corruptor. Yep. Um... I like that. And he's already pretty menacing. I'm going to scale him down just a little bit. Yeah. Probably make huge. him a bit more brown than purple. What? No way. Really? Uh, you want to go to character, not clothing. Okay. So let's see. So this is his full. We're going to do kind of more of a baseline brown. That's pretty close. We can kind of match him up to the background he's standing in front of. Go like that. This is the fleshy, like, or it's kind of like the blood around the eye. Yep. Um, we will go, we're going to match him up. So his inside, we're going to think of it as, like, the glow orb. Um, so we're going to try to, like, line up it like that. So let's see. This would be kind of, it's like a reddish pink. Yep, that's good. And then this one 
is I don't want to do that one yet. Let me do the ball. Yeah, that's perfect. Cool, and he has a couple. There's actually a couple, so those channels are like on the, I think, the other side of this thing, too. Mm hmm. And we'll do the other one real quick. There you go. Cool. All right, let's. Start, let's start corrupting him with uh, the ribcage and rib bog cage? ball. Ribcage? Eh, I don't want to use ribcage. Let's go. I want to use. Let's use some detachers. Well, first let's put the bog ball on him per community request. Bog ball. There's like a couple. Which one would they like? Uh, this. I think the same one that was on the boy, the um, general guy, Astro Marine. Okay. Cover um, up that face. The one face, you can't unsee. That one's the best. Oh, that looks Once you fun. see, you can't unsee it. Okay, well, let me drop that in, and then I will go into Character Studio and attach it here. And I guess we will go with head. So apparently we really don't like that face. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna have this growth like sticking out. Yeah, and the cool thing is you when you put it that way, it looks almost like a disgruntled elephant. I would I would scale it up also. Even bigger? Yeah. Oh, that is not the right attach point for that. Probably attach on the back side, I'd say. That would attach a bit better. Yeah, let me do this again here. Either that or the, or the fire point would probably work pretty well. Yeah, he's kind of a unique character, so the slots don't just go exact. You want to stop moving, dude? Oh, that was strange. Oh, because you you um yeah you have to now you now you can attach it. You what you did is you unattach it from his one socket. Because he was already attached to it was already attached to another socket. So now go for backside. Here we go. It's a little better. Not great, yeah. but okay. What other things would be like to attach to this guy? Does Chat have any other suggestions? Um, you could have like one of those. One of the big glow trees. Um, glow tree on his back? Yeah, like the big glow tree thing kind of coming out of him. Coming out of one of his shoulders. The nice thing is that, that thing scales down pretty small. So he's sort of like... Uh, like, actually, that kind of reminds me of... You know, this this could be the enemy who... Like, disseminates spores... And then, like, those spores, like, spawn new enemies, like, tiny guys, like, little void fodder. Let's go, like, shoulder. Let's do right shoulder. There you go. Mm hmm Flood Juggernaut, indeed. And let's do this on his left hand. Oh, get get spiky. Yeah, those like in those individual bone pieces are going to be really useful. Um, 
I'm glad I'm glad we were able to split up that rib cage so you get kind of each rib piece its own separate thing. And you know, it looks like a bone, but it's abstract enough as we do with most other props, abstract enough where it looks like it could be anything else, a horn, um, just a spike on top of a wall. Yeah, he's starting to fit into Bogland's pretty good. Mm hmm. He's like a bot creature kind of crazy thing. He looks like a horrible experiment. Let's throw some, uh, just these things like on him. Actually, use, replace his innards with that thing. That could work pretty well. Yeah, potentially. We could actually put that in there. Probably wanted to turn off Clydeball and all those things, but it's okay. <laughs> Backside again. A little big. Here you go. Replace those innards. Not quite on the. I don't know if the backside is the best one for that, but it might be Firepoint. Yeah. That might be the best the best thing to put. But there you go. It's actually kind of cool because when he moves a certain way, like you actually see it's like two dimensional where you have like the other one around. Mm -hmm. All righty. Let's see what other props we didn't really spend too much time with in the few minutes we Who's have left. Been neglected. I think we've seen the mushrooms mm -hmm. pretty good. We know what we can do with mushrooms. Um, the lily pads. I think we talked about how you can like actually just invert them to do cool stuff. Yeah, definitely. Um, why is just... battle? All right, someone asking in uh, chat. Why is battle stations free? Thank you for asking that. We we will now that we now that we've heard this, we know you guys don't like free things. <laughs> so I guess the conclusion we have is we won't uh, make things free again for you. <laughs> uh, no, we, we made it free because, um, you know, we we like to do cool, unexpected things like that. Our teams always want, they, we always love doing just unexpected stuff and making what I think is one of our coolest packs ever released free for everybody is a pretty awesome, unexpected thing. Yeah, these are cool sideways, too. And they're just cool, like as roots. Can actually be kind of a staff. Uh, yeah, yeah, totally. Why not? Can hold some sort of ball mm -hmm. or bulb inside of there, or like a, just an angry like. Yeah, you could take one of these and then take one of those. Yeah, there we go. It's looking pretty good. And then let's just take I like one of those anywhere there because I just think they're cool. But yeah, that is a magic staff. And yeah, it is. Looks like a um, because of the cool patterns on that little ball. Looks like a corrupted staff, or just a dirty staff. That needs to get washed off because yeah, it's got I dropped in mud. <laughs> Not everything has to be corrupted. But we have the void corruptor. Everything is corrupted. Right. Thanks to him. Yeah. So, yeah, there you go. That looks pretty cool. So, that plant that we were using for the staff is just this glow stocks. Oh. Can I do one last thing with one prop? Boop. Something I was playing around with earlier Dangling moss. Oh, that's right. All right. Sorry, Mr. Corruptor, or Void Thang. Do you have a brain on you? Yeah, we're going to get rid of that brain. All right, you're just going to stand still. All right, this guy, I think, still has a brain on him. Yeah, he does. All righty. Uh, he has this little exoskeleton thing. Sorry, we're going we're gonna to get rid of that. But we are going to give him uh, some semblance of a cape here with his dangling moss piece. Put that on his... On his uh, oops, did I just uh, attach that to the wrong socket? Pretty sure you put it on his head. Yeah, oops. 
did not mean to do that. Alrighty. So we are going to attach this to his backside. And this thing especially works well with the uh, marine. So this dangling moss, um, it is using our flag physics. It is, uh, people have asked for flag without pole. This is kind of the first um, thing that uses flag physics, doesn't have a pole. Um, and it works really well for it's like, stuff like this. Yeah, the thing about it is it's really triangle shaped and it's broad at the top. So for yeah. the other skinnier characters, it's... Not as apt to be a cape, but it works really well for him. Right. I mean, this this is um, this is more of you know meant for dangling moss, but especially <laughs> exactly. on that's what it is. But I but I was playing around with this on the brute character, and I do have to say, it kind of fits him because it's a lot broader shouldered. Fits him quite well. So you put that right there. Uh, let's make this thing. Let's get it non collidable physics. Cool thing is uh, on its brain, you power it off. And what it does, you can you'll see uh, it starts to uh, settle down. Turn as you turn it off until it, until it finally settles down to uh, full staticness. So it doesn't have the uh, it doesn't have it doesn't it move won't just around, around by itself, um, yeah. until like until you actually start moving. Which um, might be better for a cape. That's true. Yeah, but I'm gonna keep it like this, and uh, then it nicely trails behind him as a cape would kind of stop and um you know it's not perfect it, right now it clips him a bit so i'd probably move it out a bit more but still this looks pretty sweet already like <laughs> this his idle animation it gets a little crazy yeah it does so like um if that's a bit too crazy then what i might do is go in here and power it to off and then it's uh, powered off, so it's going to calm down there. You see it's subsiding. So it's looking a bit more natural now. But when I move, it still moves around. And uh, what happens is sort of once I stop moving, then it, it settles down to uh, no movement at all. So it's actually powered off. It probably reacts a, cape, yeah. a bit more like a regular cape. Well, I don't know about you, but I like I keep my capes powered on. <laughs> Keep that electric current running through them. So even if there isn't a breeze, I can still look really cool <laughs> blowing in the background. Yeah. But, that's, you know, that's only when I wear capes, which is only on Wednesdays, which is not a stream day, unfortunately. So, <laughs> And I, I only wear it up to 5 o'clock, so I, I take it off prior to the spark casts. Makes sense. Yep. Um, <laughs> I'm going to end with giving him some hair. All right, let's give him some. Let's put that on his head. Let's just get out of here. I actually prefer when I attach it to go in here where I can um, be a bit more precise with yeah. my placements. I don't use yeah Character Studio actually that much to do it. I kind of usually just pick a socket with it and then go back out. So I'm gonna give this guy some like flowing, not really hair. More like uh, crazy matches the rock. So there you crazy go. Crazy rock dreads. Turn collidable off. Uh, we're gonna get rid of that, and uh, he's just gonna have some some crazy rock dreads on his off of his rock face. Uh, because what scale that down a bit what more? What bog space marine wouldn't have rock dreads? Exactly. All right, so let's get another one on here. And let's put another one angled up a bit. And let's do another one angled down a bit. And do another one angled kind of pretty far up. I will say if you're like, you know, you get anxiety from watching all the like the crazy like cutting in, cutting out with some of this, definitely it, it disappears a lot of that when you, the darker you make it. So if it's like yes. all black, you won't even notice it and it'll be like pretty much great. Hair. Yeah, that's why um, we have. Uh, that's why Project Sparker um, created uh, hair that was all black. For uh, they had like this awesome character that had flowing hair, but you kind of this looks pretty awesome. Like walking around like this, 
You can definitely do a Super Saiyan like with these. <laughs> oh, you totally can do Super Saiyan. Uh, and then you're that. Then it makes sense why your hair is just like moving. <laughs> yeah, but it looks pretty. That looks pretty awesome. Just like its general movement, as uh, like he continues to move around. Just its sort of like its flowiness. It's kind of mesmerizing. I could look at this all day, but unfortunately, we're out of time. <laughs> Perfect segue. Um, yeah, we're so we're out of time. Um, we will we will be back tomorrow for Let's Play, but it'll only be us two. We're actually in the process of moving offices, um, so yeah. yeah. So that that room will not be available. Yeah, it, basically. So it'll be a pretty it'll be a pretty small Let's Play group tomorrow. But we haven't played your guys' creations for uh, for quite a bit. Yeah, I think um, we've missed two weeks now or something. Yeah, so we'll definitely be playing through. That should be fun, though. I know we have a lot of creations that we've uh, that we've missed that are uh, we've missed playing uh, for all you guys that are really great that have come out in the past few weeks. So we're gonna be back tomorrow. It's just going. It's gonna be a small group um, because we are moving offices, making uh, rooms, and people unavailable. But you can see us tomorrow. Yep. Uh, Team Dakota moving. Yes. Just Thomas and I, we're, we're being moved far, far away to... We're so disruptive. Yeah, yeah. We're, they're, they're like, oh, these two guys are so annoying. They need to be in their own little place, their own special place. No, 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 the whole, uh, the team is moving. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, we will be back tomorrow at 11 a.m. Uh, tune into that, and otherwise, we will catch you guys some other soon time. Okay, sounds good. All right, let's do it. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Create your game as you play? Any Spark can do it. Spark, activate the portals.